Howdy, hey, how we going? Last day for 2020. Feels like it's been a long time coming this year. Been plenty that everyone's had to deal with, I understand. Um, hasn't been the easiest of years. Uh, Weather-wise, we can't complain. Uh, bloody COVID, can always whinge about that. Probably still be whinging about it next year, but we got this going on. Finishing up today, we got Jade in the last three days. And with what we've been able to achieve just in the last three days, um, seeing what the new business model is gonna be like. Uh, hopefully you can hear me all right over the snipper there too. But yeah, looking at the new business model, understanding what we're gonna achieve uh, already, going forward, uh, looking at getting four workers, and then beyond uh, whatever we can afford to do and whatever the demand is requiring. Um, there's no limit to this. Everywhere we go, I think the other day we saw there was about 20 lawnmower men uh, and women. Just, just in our local area. Um, and they were out the next day when we weren't uh, doing the... Just get that blower on too. Come behind and get Max. Yeah, that's Jaden everyone. Say hello Jaden. <laughs> so we got Jaden next year, full time. Um, Max obviously. And then there's a surprise coming next year. So we'll just see how we go with that. We'll get everything rolling. Uh, try and get some footage this afternoon of an acreage we got. Planned it. Uh, pretty well this week. Um, we had, I don't know, it wasn't quite the 100, but it was, it was close to about 80 residentials in three days, plus a few acreages. So, it has uh, definitely worked, the systems that we've had in place now. Just go spray inside there for it. It's already made up for you. Yeah. Just sitting over there. Yeah, so we've um, been able to achieve a lot of uh, great numbers this week already. Wasn't the best uh, weather the first two days. First day was just rain pretty heavy all day. Tuesday got a little bit better, but the ground was still soaked. Very, very sloshy. Um, but then, yeah, just changing up things, putting the two mowers on the back here. Been able to utilise them a bit more have someone snipper them while the other two are on the mowers sort of really helps uh, with what we do. If you have bigger ones, I'd suggest you get the two standards, which is what we're going to look at doing. Uh, if that's the avenue, we're going to go with four of us. Um, just all these things, you're going to be following along with us, uh, really seeing what we're able to achieve and accomplish. I'll just uh, tell Jaden one thing. That's all right, I'll get him on the way back. He's just finishing off the blowing down. Yeah, so I'm just really excited, guys. I really want to uh, take as many along this ride with us as we can. Uh, I was solo for a long time with the business. Um, I achieved a lot on my own, but I knew to go further and even faster, I needed a lot of help. Um, been extremely lucky with Max. Couldn't be happier uh, with how he goes every like, day in, day out. At the end of each day, we still shake hands like uh, we did on the very first day, you know, like just little things, but it all um, helps. Jaden's got great potential and doing all the right things so far, so he's just, um, it's just a matter of learning the process, learning our systems and what we do, uh, and what I've sort of come to find is the quickest way that I've found. I look for any ways to find time in any which way possible, but I've also... Um, for the residentials especially, we've got it pretty down pat now, the systems, and can't get much quicker. Um, for lawns that once took me a good hour on my own, because I didn't have self-propelled mowers, I didn't have, I had a bench shaft, whipper snipper, I had a tiny little steel blower. Just all these increment, we saved a couple of minutes here and there, or we saved five minutes, 10 minutes here and there. And now with the 54 inch um, slowly developing up, I've, I don't have to go right through it, but I've, I've, I've slowly, progressively found the best and quickest way and if you watch and follow along you'll be able to see it firsthand and know what you can invest in straight away if that's the direction you want to go and yeah like you don't want to be wasting your money uh, with investments you want to use them I've foreseen all these workers coming on board uh, two years ago when I started I knew the demand was there I just wasn't ready for that pressure at that stage I wanted to really nut get the nuts and bolts of it all figured out get my systems in place so I know, all right, this is how we're gonna attack it. This is what I expect, this is the quality, this is the speed, this is everything, you know? Figure all that out, 
your numbers will come and it's based on our own circumstances. We're lucky we don't have many overheads. We've got a small mortgage. We've kept everything low to be able to do this and grow this quickly. If you've got a higher mortgage, it's gonna be a lot tougher. So really knuckle down, really get to know your numbers quickly because that's gonna be your main driving force. Physically, most people are able to do this work. It's whether or not you enjoy it. And that's the common theme I'm finding. It's you have to enjoy this work to continue with it. So. It'll be great um, having Jaden, being able to train him up pretty much from the ground up and being able to take you guys along for the ride because anything I have to tell him, it'll be just jogging my memory and then I'll be able to let you guys know and you'll be able to do the same for your workers or yourself if you're just starting out. So uh, 2021 is going to bring big things, business and personally. Um, just in a really good place. Uh, couldn't be happier with where we're heading and who we're having along for the ride with us. Um, it's very fulfilling each and every day now, providing a service not only for our clients but providing a, a lifestyle for our workers and showing them that you can get it done, be home by 3 o'clock, get home, get doing what you want to do, especially in the summer months, enjoy life a bit and then just get in, rip in each day and have a good hard day's work. So anyway, I've definitely rambled enough but you've been used to that all year. So thank you all once again. Um, I'll get some footage, I'll tag it all on the back of this, enjoy that. And um, have a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, guys. Thank you very much for all your support, um, as always. And let's keep growing together, eh? Cheers. Bye-bye. All right. I told you I wasn't done talking, or I like to talk. <laughs> uh, Jado's down the back there. Down the bottom uh, paddock. Going through brush cutting this whole hillside. Max is around the house. Um, doing all the pretty... Edges for me. We've got Sander, still loving that thing. Haven't lost a single plant, guys. Not one. We had washouts, a couple little washout points for the mulch. Um, we'll fix that up, won't take long. All in all, not too bad considering the slope of this land. Not sure if you can pick it up on camera. But uh, yeah, they're taking off. New shoots coming off from everywhere. A few little um, uh, bugs I noticed on a couple, but we got rid of them mostly last time we are here. Um, so we'll keep on top of that. And anyway, I'll try and get some footage down near the house here on the hill. You've seen this property before. Uh, but it's uh, coming along very nicely. There's, I'll get some footage of the other petunias that are down the bottom side of the hill there, see how they all went. But yeah, they, they've survived 40 degree temperature days like we had close to that for three days in a row there before we got all this rain a couple of weeks ago a few weeks ago now and then we had torrential rain for ever since and um, they've loved it so that little bit of stress for anything grass plants I always like to let it happen I don't like to pretty up my lawn and just baby it through and be spraying all these sprays I've spoken about it many times but a lot of people just consistently do it it's all right it's each to their own people love doing it that's fine but I, I prefer to just have a natural as natural as possible uh, lawn that everyone can do themselves because all it is is mowing high mowing often it's main main thing I do um, I mulch that's a big one and fertilize when needed um, very simple not very often am I getting out the water sprayer or the hose on the lawn um, when I'm building up seed or if I'm trying to fill in spots, yeah, I'll do it. But if I've got just a, a lawn that is suffering, I'll let it suffer because next time we do get rain, it really sends them roots down deep. It sucks up all that moisture and it goes searching for that moisture again. You know, it, it's just the way it naturally should be. So same with these petunias, this will all be natural. A little bit of irrigation if we're ever gonna have a drought uh, might be needed, but otherwise these things are so hardy. Um, yeah, hence why we've planted these ones. So. Enjoy guys, have a good one. To see you uh, in the next footage, I'm probably gonna talk again, so, bye. All right, all right, all right. As you can see, this was the height of those ones up the top there. So, in that short space of time, they had plenty of heat, they were suffering a little bit, and then they copped that water, they exploded. So these ones haven't had as harsh conditions from the start. They pretty much got put in when it was raining. They haven't really felt that push. They will, because every summer you do. And I'm just looking at that edge there. It's nice when nature helps you out, gives you 
a pretty good edge to work off. Anyway, uh, battling this hill, a couple little slips here, but that's where we had some top dress, so it's just grabbing and just sliding, filling up the tyres with mud and then just skating. Um, that'll fill in perfectly fine. This side is going to be a bit harder, a lot rockier surface um, for the grass to grow through, so we'll get a good top dress on this. Uh, before next winter time, really get this firing and at the top of the hill there, same deal. Uh, down in here, ideally we want to keep manicured as much as possible, it's a mess at the moment due to the bark. Once that all decomposes, it'll look beautiful in there, that'll be fine. But it's, um, yeah, I probably won't get too much footage here of the actual work. I might get Max here to just hold the camera quickly, um, see how we go on this hill. And that'll do it for the footage guys, so thanks for watching, uh, see you all next year. Have a Merry Christmas once again and a Happy New Year guys. Thank you very much. Talk to you later. Bye.